Hello YouTube and Doctor Who fans and today I thought I'd do a, um, a DVD unboxing. I've not done a DVD unboxing for a while now so I thought I'd unbox part of the Daleks. I've this for about three months so I've not really got around to watching it. So I'm going to watch this. I'm going to open it first and then I'll watch it and I'll get a quick review uh, towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video. And uh, yeah, this is the first ever story by uh, starring uh, Patrick Troughton, and the first, and uh, this was actually a lost footage. I think they had just the audio for it, so they they made it into an animation. So it's great that we've got that kind of uh, animation now, and uh, it just fills a gap in the many miss missing episodes of Doctor Who. I do like the. Um, the animation on these though. Um, I watched the Tenth Planet and Invasion, I think it's Invasion of the Cybermen, one of the Patrick Trout and Cybermen stories, and that was really, really good. It's more like a, like a graphic novel come to life, class comic, really, really nice how they do it. Uh, this one comes with a nice sleeve on it. Um yeah, uh, this is the back of it, the image, Daleks, TARDIS, Patrick Troughton animated, and a Dalek. Uh, 50 years after its uh, U original uh, UK broadcast on BBC One, one of the Doctor Who's most uh, celebrated episodes, Last Adventures, is G regenerated. With a brand new hand drawn black and white animation synchronized with a digitally remastered uh, recording of the 1966 audio. So it sounds pretty cool. Oh, it's a six part. Uh, cool. Uh, this six part adventure takes place immediately after the first regeneration as the Time Lord and his companion Polly and Ben. Uh, do battle with an old foe the on the mysterious planet Vulcan. How will Polly and Ben cope with the new Doctor? Um, how will the Doctor take his new body? And how will they ever overcome the planet of the Daleks? So it sounds like a bit like a really cool, like a, some sort of long film. But yeah, um, I'm gl very, very interesting to watch this uh, because um, you know I've seen all the other Doctors regenerate and their first episode and this one should be uh, the best because it's the most bizarre because it were a new concept back in the back in the day and I'm just reading this is 135 minutes approximately runtime this is region 2 and 4 uh, subtitles English uh, for the hard of uh, hearing, I think that's the audio navigation view. Aspect ratio 16.9, and this is released last year, 2016. So let's, as well as the spine, I'm a big fan of the spines. And we get some full art. Uh, just pretty much the same as the uh, sleeve there, so I'll just open it up. And uh, get this booklet. It feels quite thick for a Doctor Who booklet. Oh, it looks nice as well. Uh, reading time. Oh, uh, just behind the scenes on the regenerations and there is other on the uh, on the episodes. Put a trail in there. Well, that'll be a nice read. I'll not read it all now, but I'll read it at some point. And then original transmission on BBC One. Uh, episode 1 was on the 5th of November, no, uh, 1966. Episode 2, 12th of November. Uh, episode 3, uh, 19th of November. Episode 4, Saturday... Well, they're all on Saturdays. Uh, 26th of November. Uh, episode 5 were on the 3rd of December. And episode 6 was on the 10th of December, 1966. Also, we get some more various BBC leaflets. Doctor Who experience, unfortunately, like closing down now, I think. Unless I managed to save it, but 
here are the discs, we've got disc 2 and disc 1. And on the other side we have uh, the power of the Dala, oh that's pretty cool actually, show you that. We've got the uh, logo with the Planet of the Dance, but then we've got like a uh, the original, like half, half ones, and that's pretty cool that. I'll be keeping it in the sleeve anyway, so I won't be messing about on this, but if if it didn't come in the sleeve, I'd probably have it the other way, so it matched with the other DVD of that. So, um, I'm going to watch this right now, and I'll be back uh, with a review. Hello, and welcome back. Now, I've just finished watching Power of the Daleks, and it's a fantastic story to watch. Uh, that's my opinion. You people might like it, might not, but I like it most because it fills in the gap from Hartnell to uh, Patrick Troughton, and uh, I'd recommend to buy this for any Doctor Who fan, just fill the gap, and just get a watch. It's really, really nice. Um, the animation is uh, really nice. Um, it reminds me of sort of like a uh, comic book uh, meets uh, animation, that kind of style. And um, but it's just really, really cool. Uh, the, the extras on it, uh, I recommend watch the extras. It's really cool. Uh, there's some old footage and some images of uh, the from the what's left from the original series, and it shows you a bit of the animation on uh, the photo gallery. Gallery animation, <coughs> uh, and um, yeah, really would recommend this. Definitely watch the extras, and um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not do to go too much into spoiling it for people if they're planning to buy it, but I recommend it. It's a really good Dalek story, really good Patrick Troughton first story, and. Um, for me it's a bit of closure you know it fills that gap and the the animation on it is amazing like i've said but it, it's uh you know it makes you think i wonder what it would like in real life to watch that i imagine some people have the luxury of being uh and watching it when it originally aired so uh it's uh i was just thinking maybe um um, I wonder how they knew where exactly they were standing, so there must have been someone who originally worked on it, and um, it just looks amazing. Uh, I'm looking forward to if Doctor Who uh, released some more of these, uh, some more old missing serials, partial missing serials, and uh, like the other uh, animations on the, I think it's Invasion of the Cybermen, and the Ten Planet, it's similar to that, and just this looks awesome so uh, thank you for watching this video uh, if you want to see some more Doctor Who reviews there is my collection there and I'll leave a um, a link to the actual going through the collection so you know if uh, what I've got in the collection and uh, I'll review it if you like plan on doing some more Doctor Who DVD re uh, reviews this year so uh, thank you all for watching as I said, feel free to like this video, uh, comment below which one would you like me to uh, review next, and uh, hit that subscribe button, so thank you all for watching.